Welcome back to Pizzazz Studios, everybody. This is Lori, and happy to have you with me today. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I had a painting um, in one of my previous videos, and you see it here in front of you. It's one of these small five by seven canvases. And it's a painting I did um, a while back. And um, I am going to be embellishing it. I have the paint um, painter's tape on the back of it and everything. So I'm gonna end up resining this when I'm finished. But I wanted to show you what I was doing because I've had so much interest in this painting. Everybody's asking me about this painting. So I have a lot of these, I do. I do a lot of um, embellishing on my paintings and I do a lot of quotes and things like that with um, positivity and affirmations and things like that. That's kind of what my, my thing has been. I wanted to show you what I was doing, what I'm working on. So this painting I previously had already applied this butterfly and there was a section over here I did not like very much. So in my previous video, um, I put some white paint down here to make it look a little neater because I wasn't liking the way that some of the blue came up a little too high and it just didn't look very neat. So I tried to neaten it up. So that's what I was showing you in the other video. And I can actually tell you what video that is. I'll go back and look up the number and let you know when I upload this. And so I just wanted to show you. So for example, my coffee mug. <laughs> so I like to be surrounded by beautiful things and positivity and things that are uplifting. So I like to make my art that way as well. Bright, cheery colors and uplifting things. And if I embellish it, then I like to add nice things that make people feel good. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take this painting and embellish it. What I'm gonna do is I am putting, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can put uh, vinyl down if you own like a Cricut machine and things like that, you can print them out. On your Cricut and you can apply them to your paintings that way. Um, I do that and I also do decals as well, which is what I am doing today. I want to show you how I do it. So this is a Butterfly decal I had already applied previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and show you how I do it. Um, I have a cup of water here. This is some decals that I made that I actually have already used some of them. They've all been cut out already. And one of my uh, favorite sayings lately is bloom where you're planted. So I have a few of these printed out this is just decal paper that you can get at uh, office supply stores and you print it out. Or you can buy decals. You can have someone make them for you and you can buy them. Um, whatever you prefer. I had made different sizes. So one of these, I'll show you what I'm doing. I have already cut out what I'm going to use. So I have my words all cut out already. So I was trying to make this video a little quicker for you. So I'll just cut this section off here where it says you're planted. Um, when I was applying a decal to something else the other day, um, I had messed up one of them. So I had to <laughs> recut part of it and redo it. So this is what's left of it. So what I'm gonna do, excuse my hands. I know I need a manicure, but don't pay attention to that. <laughs> so now you, you cut out your decal off the paper. All right, now you want to cut around it. Usually, if you use the small, like tiny craft scissors and things like that, I have just a normal pair of scissors right here. That's what I had, so that's what I'm using. My other ones are down, um, downstairs, so I'm not going down there to get them. Um, since I have these right here, these work good for me too. So if this is all you have, then you can certainly use them. I just sort of cut out around the saying or the picture whatever it is I have about as close as you can get now you could cut this out I'm going to show you I'm going to cut this out here real quick I'm just kind of going around all the lettering as best I can and this is why it's a little easier with small scissors but 
like I said, I do this with these scissors. These are just a normal size pair of scissors and it works perfectly. So what you can do now, see, I have this cut out. So you can take this and you can apply it just as is. But I find if you do that, there's a clear section here that overlays this paper on the back. The paper on the back is gonna slide off because what this is, is this is water slide decal paper. And what that means is you have to soak it in water and then this top layer will slide off the paper. I'm gonna show you. If you've never seen these before, I will show you. Um, so that's why I like to cut as close as I can because if you don't, then you have all that clear paper around it or in between. And it doesn't look bad. I actually don't mind it too much, but I also like to minimize it if I can. Because I don't, you know, love it. I It doesn't bother me that much, but I prefer to have less of it, if that makes sense. So let me just do this. So what you want to do is you want to cut this out all the way around each word. So you have words like, like that. And that way you're getting rid of all this excess here because it's just going to be a clear. I'm not sure I'm saying this right, but there's like two layers here. One's a white paper and one's clear. The decal part is clear around your letters and if you don't and if you don't cut that off you're going to have all that clear paper sort of shining through so this is all the excess that i cut off so that would all just be extra you know clear stuff showing through under your varnish or your resin or whatever you want but like i said it doesn't look bad i mean it's clear but you can see it. So if you're a bit of a perfectionist, then you may not like that. So I'm just saying you may want to cut as close as possible to the item you're cutting out. Because that's how I roll. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I uh, like to make it as beautiful as I can. It's not all that much more work to do so. And I feel my customers and clients um, deserve the best. So I try to do the best for them that I can. So now what you're gonna do, once you have all your lettering or your picture cut out or whatever you're putting on, um, I'm gonna have to do this upside down so I can see what I'm doing, but I will, you'll get the gist anyway, right? And I'll show you afterwards what it looks like. I'll turn it around for you. So you place it kind of where you want it. Lay it how you think you might think it would look best. I'm gonna do this bloom word. Um, I made it up in a different font, which I really like. And I also made it um, a little bit larger than the other words, which I also like. Um, so I'm gonna put the bloom, you could put it straight. Like I said, you could do whatever you'd like. I'm gonna put this at an angle like this. And then I'm gonna put the where right there, I think, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the planted over here. I'm just playing around right now as I talk to you, trying to figure out how I like it best. So, what do you think? That looks good. It's not gonna be exact right now. I'm just trying to get a good layout. So when I do put it down. Once you put it down, you don't have much time to move it around. So you want to make sure you have it where you have it, where you want it, rather. So I like that. That looks good. I'm trying to say if I want to put this up here. See, this is where my indecisiveness comes in. <laughs> I think... I like it down here. I had it all set up earlier where I liked it and then I forgot what I wanted to do. <laughs> so now I'm trying to remember how I had it, how I liked it. So anyway. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'm gonna go with that. So, it'll look like this. Zoom in here for you. Now it's gonna look like, like that. So, let me just zoom back out. All right. So this is not difficult to do at all. Um, but if you've never done it, it's a little tricky. You just might want to practice um, on something else if you prefer. So what I'm going to do, you want a piece, um, you want a pair of um, tweezers, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot how to talk for a second. <laughs> Take a pair of tweezers, you want a little bit of water. And um, obviously you need your scissors, your decal, your painting, all that good stuff. So move your coffee out of the way. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to take the first piece. You're going to take this and you're going to soak it in the water. Probably like 10 seconds. Maybe 8 seconds. It's not very long. Shake off any excess water from it. But you also want a paper towel handy. Now, what you do is you'll see these will slide apart, like I was saying, they're water slide decals. So if you look here, you can see, I hope I have this in camera, the top layer is sliding off of the bottom. So the bottom white paper is sliding out from underneath this decal, which has a clear back to it. So it looks like that. Now, it's good if you can put a little bit of water on here, just very, very light. You obviously don't want to soak your painting, you just want a little bit. It'll help it stick. You want to make sure you put it where you want it. And then once you have it where you want it, you have that water on there, you're going to take your paper towel and just blot it and soak up the excess water from it. And that's it. That's all you need to do for the most part. Um, the tweezers are really handy. It's kind of difficult to do it with your fingers. Um, you can do it with your fingers, but I find the tweezers are very helpful. Okay, so let's do the next one. So the next word I have is wear. So I'm going to put that in the water. Shake off the excess. Slide the decal off the paper backing. You just want to start it. You want to be really careful with these. You got to be, they're very delicate, so you don't want to be too rough with it. You don't have to put water down here for it to stick or anything like that, but it does help. I find it's just a little tip that might help you okay so that looks good I'm just trying to make sure it looks nice and straight and then I'm gonna dab take up any excess water so this will be quick because we've only got four words here let's go to do the next one let's see so I'm gonna put this one over here Put in your water, take off the excess. If it doesn't slide off the paper very easily, you haven't soaked it long enough. So just stick it in the water again for another couple seconds and it should slide right off. So it starts to slide off, it looks like this, where it starts to separate. It's a little hard to do this trying to keep it on the camera while <laughs> I'm doing it. Hold on a second here. I just twisted my word so it's folded under itself. So like I was saying, these are very delicate. You have to be really careful with them. Because 
there isn't much to them. Now, see, I went and folded this part under. I'm not sure if I can straighten this out. Well, see, that's an example of, I'm not gonna fight with it too much because I have an extra one anyway. Like I said from my previous <laughs> boo-boo from the other day. So that other one I was cutting out that I was showing you, I'm gonna cut out just a little bit around here. I'm gonna use this one. Luckily, I have this extra on the side just in case. All right. So here we go again. We'll take this, put it in the water. Shake off the excess. Put a little dab down here. Slide this off of here. And there you have that. Okay, and now we're going to put this down here. You want to be really gentle with it. These can tear easily, but if you're careful, they won't. You got to take your time with it. That looks nice. So now this last word here. I'm almost wondering now if I want it over here. <laughs> I start to change my mind. <laughs> I do this a lot. Put it right there. I like it there. It's all personal preference. So I hope you're enjoying my video. I have a lot more of these coming. Um, I've been doing an awful lot of things and this is just the start of it. So if you have not subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It does help me out on YouTube. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful and helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button. That helps me out as well. It's just a free way of showing your support to artists on YouTube, and it is appreciated more than you know. I appreciate you, and I thank you for watching. All right, so... I'm going to move this over a little. See, I have about... I don't know, you have a little time to move it if you'd like, but not too long because it sort of likes to start to stick in where it is it wants to stay sometimes. All depends. That's why, too, another reason to put a little water down on the painting as well so it has something to slide on. If you, if you want to move it around a little bit, you can. But you got to be careful with them tweezers. These decals are extremely delicate. Okie dokie. Let me just look this up and look at it for a second. All right, I think this looks pretty good. So let me turn it around so you can see. There we go. Maybe I'll try to zoom in so that you can see it. I'm not sure. You can see that or not. I know you can see it, but you can't see it as well as I can. Here, how about I just pick it up here, and I'll show you what I got. So it looks good. Um, it's going to look amazing when I resin this little guy. So you want to wait till your paint's fully cured and all that good stuff, of course. I mean, you can't, you know, do it while your paint's wet. Um or anything like that. You want to let your painting dry and fully cure, and then, um, you know, which takes takes a while, and then you can go ahead and embellish it 
This is just one of the ways that I do it. I thought I'd share with you and show you what I do. And this one's pretty much done. So like I said, I'm gonna let this dry. You probably wanna give it some time to dry out thoroughly though and let the decal settle and get all the moisture will come out of there because there may be some underneath the decal. So don't be in a rush to varnish it or anything right after you apply these. You wanna give them a day, let the moisture all evaporate out of there and then you could probably do it. I usually wait a day and then you're usually good to go. Um, you could varnish over them. You can resin. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. I got, I have so many things, projects in the works here. Um, I'm gonna show you one that I did earlier. Here, hold on one second. Okay, so here's another one I did. I'll show you real quick. This one um, I did on a panel. So this is a five by seven panel that I painted that I applied some decals to as well. This is really pretty, a little bit different, different colors and everything, obviously. I have the same saying, um, butterflies. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So those are my flowers I painted. And I went ahead and just applied some embellishing to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this in a frame. This will be for sale on the website. And then the next day, so you can see it up there. If you visit pizzazzstudios.com, you're interested in buying any of my work, that's where you'll find it. But I love embellishing these. I just have so much fun doing it. It's my thing. I've been doing it for a while. And uh, I thought it was time to start sharing how I do it. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for joining me today. If you guys have any questions, certainly leave them down in the section below in the comment section. I will get back to you. And I appreciate if you have any feedback on this, if it was helpful, if you'd like to see me do more of these videos, I'd appreciate that as well. And uh what else i guess that's about it like i said this one's done um i'm gonna go ahead and do this one i want to dry for a day and then i will go ahead and resin this one i'm gonna resin that and the other one's just getting a spray varnish and that's it I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to think if I said everything I needed to say. I don't think I've forgotten anything. If I have, I can add it down in the description box for you. If you have any questions or if I forgot to mention anything at all, please feel free to ask. And I appreciate you. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Please hit the like button and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye for now.